Hey, it's Matt from McGee Farms, and uh, you can see we got another project uh, we're in the middle of right now, and you're gonna be seeing some videos on that uh, pretty soon. We're building a flight pen for peafowl, for uh, pheasant. We uh, lost our peacock that we've had for like 17 years, and uh, uh, due to raccoon, not just kind of a wake-up call because uh, raccoons usually leave them alone but this has been a crazy year especially with the drought that we're having so we're building a whole new enclosure for them where they were kind of free range kind of wild uh, we're gonna change that and kind of make a pen for them and probably get some pheasant and some quail and some other birds to keep in there as well but uh, the reason for this video as you can see I've got a whole bunch of holes in front of me we're in the middle of a horrible drought here in summer of 2023 in northeast Missouri. We finally got rain the other night. I think it had been a month and a half since we'd had any rain. And uh, our yard was a crop field. It was a crop field for probably 30 years before we decided to put the homestead on it. So this ground is clay and it is compacted. So normally digging is a little hard. When there's a drought like this, it's kind of like digging into concrete so i'm gonna go over you know kind of some of the ways that uh, you can get around that i know there's a lot of new homesteaders new people that you know haven't grown up using tractors all their life like i have and uh i'll show you some tips of uh some ways to get around it and some things that uh do work but you don't want to do because they're dangerous and you know definitely i'm I'm going to show that, but I'm going to show that with the tractor off and I'm um, showing it as a, hey, do not do this uh, kind of thing because, you know, it might save you a little bit of time, but it's dangerous as hell and not worth the, you know, two minutes you might actually save. So we're looking at the holes. I'm trying to go down two foot, which I've got most of them done. Uh, I've ended up breaking the PTO shaft on my auger twice. Both ends of it, the one that hooks into the tractor and the one that hooks into the auger. I have uh, broken 15 pins because of all the rocks and because of how hard everything is. Just trying to do 21 holes. Got most of them done. I'm down to the last few. And you see this one. Going to have to be dug out just a little bit more. This is about where we get to on the uh, second round of drilling. First round, this is about as deep as we've been able to get. And uh, basically, you know, if you've got if you've got something like this, there's there's a few things. Your auger itself makes a big difference, but drill your holes, drill them as much as you can get down. If you've got a loader on the tractor, sometimes you can kind of pick up your front end and uh, force it down. Kind of puts a little weight on it that helps uh, but basically you dig a little bit and you get some water you know i've got my kubota that i've done some videos on i've got a sprayer mounted on back so i can get water pretty much anywhere i need to if you're lucky enough you got access to a hose that'll reach all the way out to where you're digging five gallon buckets i've done that in the past uh, there's been times I've just gone down to the creek and filled the bucket of the tractor up to get water for doing this. But I did mention the auger. So this is a newer uh, bit that we got. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of getting bent. It's, uh, it's, it's been rough trying to dig these. But one thing I'm going to look at down here is... Uh, See how the bit on the bottom, and these bits you want to, you know, you want to make sure the bits on the bottom are sharp. But see how this is kind of corkscrewed a little bit. Uh, this is a newer style. I mean, it's been around for a few years. But if you've got an older one and you've got an older bit, uh, upgrading it will make a world of difference. I never realized, you know, how much it did. We're going to walk over because I've got our old one. It is still good, but this is the old style that uh, 
they used to come in, instead of those little like corkscrews on the bottom it was just kind of a screw and uh, they would dig but that new style digs so much better I I would not have believed it if somebody told me until uh, you know actually buying one and seeing the difference that it makes now also you can buy extension for these if you want to go down farther I bought one and honestly it was worthless uh, you hook it in and uh, most of the tractors it won't lift them up high enough to even uh, move it around it just just a one foot wasn't enough so I would not uh, spend the money on that unless you're just really putting it on a large tractor now I'm gonna hop on the tractor I'm gonna back up try to knock out some of these holes have been sitting in water for a little bit I'm gonna try to dig them out a little bit more and uh, once I do I'm gonna turn the camera back on and uh, show you a couple things that are gonna be very tempting that uh, you know instead of going down an inch here you know, it can probably get you to where you're going down five inches, six inches uh, the first time around, but it's dangerous. So I'm showing it as something, if you're tempted, don't do it. And we're going to get to that in just a second. And when you got your auger in and you got your auger running, hopefully you all can hear this all right. But, uh, you know, you want to have guards on here. I've got mine off right now just because I've had to rebuild this PTO shaft twice and replace these pins twice. But, you know, if you're standing back here and that PTO shaft goes crazy, you know, it can slam into you. Not good. Also, without the guards, loose fitting clothing, you get too close, these can kind of take you in. When you get going, if it's not going down far enough, sometimes as it's going, you can kind of rock it back and forth. And that'll get you a little farther, but, you know, when I was a kid, we'd do that because, you know, nobody really cared about safety. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's not good because if a pin were to go out, basically you get yourself hurt. You're not going to get that much farther down. The other thing that uh, you know we used to do, pretty common, and again, is pretty dangerous. And you, I'm showing this to you not to do it, not so you do it so that you don't do it as it gets going you want to get some weight on here jump back here give a little weight again you're putting yourself right by this pto shaft so you do not want to do it it's tempting you get thinking oh well hey i'll get a little weight on there i'll get a little weight on there but no it's definitely something you do not want to do uh take your time you know you might have to uh dig at the hole an extra time or two but it's uh you know safety wise if you get hurt then uh, it's got to take even longer to do them uh, one thing you can do though i've seen people they put weights uh they figure out how to get weights on the uh, pto arms that's possible uh the other thing too is if you drop your bucket usually you can pick up the front end of your tractor that puts it a little bit of an angle also that uh kind of pushes it down a little more and uh, that that actually can make a big difference sometimes it's a very slow process uh, we've had these soaking in water for about an hour and uh, you know got down just a little bit farther and you can see it's already dry some of these I noticed uh, you know drilling them out you know you see all the mud on top on this one if you go down i mean it's it's hard and dry uh i mean it just it just takes forever and then you come out grab a shovel kind of clean the hole out a little bit uh, another thing when you're using the auger when you're pulling it out is uh cleaning out your hole and that's basically just uh while the auger's going you lift it up and lower it down a couple times and it'll fling the dirt off to the side so it's that much less that you gotta you know get in with a shovel and clean out but we're gonna get the the sprayer i'm gonna clean out these holes i'm going to fill these up with water again wait probably another half hour hour and uh then i'll do a little more digging
Okay, so we got most of the holes done. Uh, we, we're still waiting on these last couple. I just filled them up with water. We're gonna wait about an hour, come back. It was 21 holes. It's taken me a week to dig them just because this ground is so hard and the equipment just uh, hitting rocks and everything just keeps breaking on me. But uh, I've got the last four are half dug and then there's gonna be one more hole. And then after that, Holes are done. Hopefully that's gonna be the hardest part. And then we uh, start getting the post out and start setting post and concrete. And should within a day be able to get the entire pin up once these holes are done. It's Matt from McGee Farms. If you enjoy the video, if you know this helped you out, if you're having trouble trying to get holes dug in hard dry clay ground and uh, you know trying to figure out what to do if I helped you, I'm uh, happy to do it. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, maybe leaving us a like, subscribe to the channel, sharing it with your friends. It's appreciated and it does help the channel grow. Till next time, have a great day.